Hello Aquarius and welcome to Intuitive Clarity with yours truly Allison Nichols. Aquarius as always this is going to be a general um, tarot forecast for the month of April 2020. So if it doesn't resonate with you always check out your moon and rising sign. All right, so while I'm shuffling, I'll invite you to check out all the links below <laughs> where you can find all the stuff that I dabble in. Um, the tarot deck that I created is down there along with the candles. Um, and if you would like your own personal Intuitive Clarity reading, just uh, click on the email link and uh, shoot me an email and I'll be more than happy to schedule a time that works out for both of us. All right, Aquarius, I hope you're doing well with the self-isolation, if that's where you're at, um, with where you were at. And I just hope you're healthy and well and wise, actually, during these weird times. Uh, of course, when you watch it, it'd be interesting to see where we're at then. But right now, I guess I'm in week um, two of when they shut down what I do do um, outside the home and um, it's, it hasn't gone too too bad but uh, my state actually uh, got a little worse so we'll see what happens we'll see what happens they did extend the school um, dismissal or you know the teleschool a little bit longer but I don't know of course what so we'll see what happens okay so let's see what's happening for Aquarius. Hello. Okay, and we're going to do a little numerology and clarification. If I could pick up my cards. All right. Seven. Hmm. Okay, Aquarius, you are in the energy of seven for the month of April, which is kind of a neat energy to be in. Um, and if, if you do happen to have to self-isolate because of this demon that's going throughout the world, I can't say the, the name of it or even parts of it or they demonetize my video. And that's just, I think that's just wrong. So we're just going to call it the demon bug. But um, yeah, so if you're still self-isolating, then um, it would be a great time to have a self or a seven energy because that is kind of about reflecting and deciding what direction you want to go into next. Um, it's being able to look back on some how you might have handled some things or how some things might have um, gone and and you might want to change courses basically. So you know if you are still self-isolating or just started to this you know it would be a good time for a little meditation um, jot down your dreams you might be getting because it's very spiritual too you might be getting like um, moments of reckoning you know um, so you might want to jot down your dreams if anything you know kind of stands out when you wake up all right okay week one here Aquarius I'm getting the five of earth I'm using a new camera. The five of earth and it is reversed. And then I have the gentleman. And I usually see this guy as like someone in charge, like a boss or a banker or um, something like that. I do have my pentacles reversed here. Now, straight up, it is still a loss and it's a little, um, you know, not having enough, feeling a little depleted if it's about energy or, you know, emotion, affairs of the heart. But if it's about finances, then, you know, you're left out in the cold a little bit, it, it feels like. Now, it is reversed, so it's really not as bad. I believe that in week one here, you might be hearing from someone of importance who hold something to do with either your finances or of value to you, okay? Um, so I do believe there's something coming up on week one about that. We're going to do more clarification, Aquarius. Week two, I do have my uh, Ace of Swords, but that's it straight up but it's reversed. So that's about information. Um, 
coming to new information that is a bit of a surprise on week two. So there is some type of information that's coming up um, on week two that you might not have expected to hear or it it's information that shocks you that something didn't go the way that you thought it would go um, kind of thing because it might it almost makes me wonder if week one and week two aren't somehow tied together there but we will continue on now my nose itches and you can't touch your face All right. um, ace of cups week three and the watchful eye okay I believe this there is um, a bit of a reprieve there's there's a bit of happiness here in week three and it is something that um, I don't know necessarily that you saw coming um, but there is there is a, a bit of, of happiness a bit of joy um, it's something new um, that's happening in week three, all right? Um, with the watchful eye, I actually kind of, I don't believe that you saw it coming, or if you did, you didn't think it might have, it was going to happen this fast kind of thing. Week four, I get my queen of pentacles and my health card. So if you were waiting on any, any financial anything financial coming to you it looks like week four is a good week for that to happen it's a good healthy week I've been getting that with a lot of signs so I don't know if that's about um, if you're in America if that's about the stimulus um, check hitting or what but week four um, has looked kind of healthy for quite a few signs when it comes to finances all right, so let's continue on and see what we got. My nose is itching. This could even be, um, you know, because it is someone in charge of money. This could be government or something like that, no matter where it is you live. Um, so I know there's like packages, all kinds of stuff out for every country for this right now, anyway. In my timeline, anyway. Oopsie. Okay. I have to take them. Wow. Okay. Um, so we have the five of swords reversed. Um, so it's almost as if there's really nothing you can do about this. Um, you, you almost really can't, it, there just isn't anything you can do about this. So whoever it is that's making this decision around finances here, it's, uh, that's almost makes me feel like it's, it's government or corporate or something like that. Um, you know, there's nothing you can do about it. It is what it is kind of thing in week one. Um, week two is there again my five of pentacles but straight up so there is some there is some information that hits you on week two when it comes around your money and how much of it you're going to you know there's going to be some information where there's a bit of a loss I believe or perhaps it's just not as much as you're accustomed to making um, so it could be that or it could also be that there's news that they're shutting down what it is that you do do all right um, that particular week uh, week three I get my full card reversed so no new journeys coming up right um, nothing is being taken off the ground kind of thing so I do see a little bit more of like solitude I suppose um, on week three, I don't see anything, any new, um, opportunities or anything popping up, 
uh, necessarily, but it could very well be because, you know, there's nothing you can actually do about it anyway. If we're still um, isolating them, that would be, you know, an example of that. Um, it might not even really be a bad thing if you do have to isolate. You might actually be okay with it with my Ace of Cups uh, straight up. So, you know, it just might be that, you know, there's not much you can move forward with this particular week. And then week th four, I do get uh, my Queen of Pentacles reversed on top of my Queen of Pentacles straight up. All right. Um, so I do believe that there's some income coming here. However, I do there again want to say that it might, this could either, if this was like some type of a payment, some type of a relief payment, um, this could be the last one, you know, the first and last. Or um, it could also be that there is a bit of a loss, but there's still some security with it. Okay. Um, that's what I have for week four. So let's do one last clarification. Definitely something surprises you, some information around, um, I believe, finances surprises you in week two. Yeah, some things come out. It's not going to happen for long. Um, this too shall pass. So week one. I do get the journal and it's on top of which is about investigations, um, things coming out. Um, it can also be a, a legal uh, binding type of thing, document kind of thing, um, which there again takes me to um, you know, finances surrounding about what what decisions are being made with um, the powers that be kind of thing. Um, you know, because they're in this situation, that's pretty much, you know, all we, all we can do. Uh, so um, I do believe that's what's going on here that first week. It could even be depending, you know, whatever country you're in, it could be anywhere where they are, um, even starting to go into more renegotiations or something like that. Um, or that could be your corporate too. If you have been furloughed, if they're discussing, you know, if you're going back or not, um, you know, the powers that be, the, the, pe the people who are controlling how you bring your income in. Um, okay, week two. I do get the anchor, but it's reversed. So straight up, I always see this as being a long time. It's reversed, so it's the opposite. This too shall pass. Um, so even though this information that you're getting is maybe not be you know the best information or the information that you would like, um, it this is not going to last for long. Is what I want to tell you. I'm actually kind of starting to wonder if by the end of April. We, you know, there's a bit more movement that starts to happen going into the following month, going into May, because I am getting, I'm getting um, a, just a few indications throughout the different signs. It's kind of interesting. Um, but anyway, this is not going to happen for long, um, this feeling of in lack, okay? Week three. I do get the fox, all right, so it's kind of sly as a fox kind of thing going on here, and I do get the watchful eye, too. So I believe, you know, this isn't talking about, you know, someone, an enemy or anything, not at all. I just, I really don't think that. I just think that you need, you personally need to be, um, keep your eye, 
you, you know, your eyes open, pay attention to the right media kind of thing. Um, you know, make sure that the information that you're getting you've researched and you know, um, things like that. Uh, so you kind of don't go off into a false journey in a way, um, especially with my fox on top of my fool reverse. So, you know, just keep your eyes open to the um, information that you do get um, about what is going on. Week four, I get my dog reverse, which is about loyalty. My dog usually is loyalty, trust, whatnot. Okay. But it's it's on top of my queen that's reversed. Um, I I almost do feel as if um, the way that that you have received the money up here might be um, that might either be the last that you have the last time you have to do it like that like you can go back um, perhaps or start to go back to normal ways of, of doing business um, or that it's with this loyalty dog being reversed I'm also wondering if maybe there isn't some renegotiation going on here as well if it's with your the corporate people um, you know where it, the, the following month, if you still have to be furloughed or whatever, you might not make as much money as the first time you did or whatever. That's all gets renegotiated. Um, I don't know. So, But there's definitely something that changes up here that uh, lasts the fourth week of April um, as far as how, you're, how the income, how you're bringing in money or the money you are bringing in. Okay, that's what I have, Aquarius. Um, I hope this um, resonated with some of you. Um, if you would like your own reading, definitely email me. Check out the Candle Boutique. Um, thank you so, so much for um, all the likes, shares, comments, um, subscribes. Love them. Any questions, comment, or email me. I'll be happy to answer them. And other than that, I want you to have a fabulous April. Stay safe and healthy and uh, entertained. Uh, do the best you can. Um, socialize if you're still self-isolating when you're watching this. Uh, do the best to, you know, use technology to stay in touch with your folks. All right. Okay. I want you to have a fabulous April and Aquarius until we meet again in May. I am always sending loving energy your way. Bye-bye.